We take you now live to Washington for the latest on the U.S. midterm elections where Republicans will control the House. Democrats will control the Senate. U.S. President Joe Biden will be dealing with a divided Congress for the final two years of his term. Magda Gabrasilase is with us live from Washington. Magda, good morning. Still don't good know morning. the si size of the Republican majority in the House, but we do know that there will be a thin one. So what are the Republicans promising to do? Well, they're already promising to go at the Biden administration. They say they're going to launch several investigations into decisions uh, made, including the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan. But right now, party members are really just celebrating the fact that they flipped the House. And yes, it's a slim majority of 218 seats, but that could change. They could get more because there are still a handful of seats that still need to be called. But uh, one of those that is especially celebrating is Kevin McCarthy. He has two reasons to celebrate. He is on track to possibly be the next House Speaker. And he actually won his party's nomination for that uh, yesterday. But all that will be decided in January. Right now, he's just proud. Take a listen. I'm proud to announce the era of one-party Democrat rule in Washington is over. Washington now has a check and balance. The American people have a say in their government. And this new Republican leadership team is ready to get to work. So we're getting reaction, of course, from the other side as well. President Joe Biden uh, sent out a complimentary note in a statement. He said, I congratulate Leader McCarthy on uh, Republicans winning the House majority and am ready to work with House Republicans to deliver results for working families. Now, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, current House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, took a very different tone with her statement. She wrote, in the next Congress, House Democrats will continue to play a leading role in supporting President Biden's agenda with strong leverage over a scant Republican majority. We, of course, are expecting to actually hear more about Pelosi's future today. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about whether she wants to uh, continue to lead her party, whether she wants to stay in Congress or uh, retire altogether. And uh, she's already said that um, the attack on her husband, which, which happened last month, is something that's going to be playing into her decision. And we are uh, expecting to hear today about what she plans to do with her future. So that's the House. On the Senate side, we know the Republicans failed to take control away. Uh, so uh, I understand that's resulting in a little uh, finger pointing uh, on their side. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, longtime Republican leader Mitch McConnell is, is getting some of that heat. So for the first time in 15 years, he faced a fight to keep his leadership role for the Republicans in, this, in the Senate. And uh, he was up against Florida's Rick Scott, uh, who challenged him for that spot. There was a secret ballot in the end, uh, a 37 to 10 vote for uh, McConnell staying in that role. So here's his uh, reaction to that I don't own this job uh, anybody who wants to uh, run for it can feel free to do so and um, so I'm not in any way of, of offended by having an opponent or having a few uh, votes in opposition now, it's interesting that they decided to have this vote uh, take place because the Senate isn't all but decided, decided. There's still one seat that needs to be decided. That is Georgia, which uh, goes into a, a, a election, a runoff uh, election next month to make the call on, on who will win the Georgia seat, John. Thanks for this, Magda. Magda Gabriel in Washington.